This is where it used to be. We're like, what happened to the boat? Then I realized, oh, that's right. Julian from the Boat Depot came and picked the boat up to clean off the bottom. Because today is the day that we get our boat lift put in place. So we've seen boat lifts all over the place, right? You come down to the Keys, everybody's got a boat lift. Never occurred to me what it took to put a boat lift in place. There are all the parts for the boat lift. There's some, that's some serious cable there. Look at the size of these beams that are supposedly going to go in to the ground and our backyard. Dang, that's a long friggin' beam. Today's the day, as they say, today's the day that we're going to put this boat lift in place. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. All Keys, all Keys Boat Lifts LLC, by the way. Oh, the people that are putting it in, they would have been great. I'm going to show you what they're going to do to do this thing. I really, I mean, you see boat lifts all over the place all the time, but I had no idea, like, really what it takes to put it in place. So, um, so far, they have been absolutely awesome. We have all the permits in place really quick. So, I mean, it's just been really, really good. Thank goodness. So, we'll see how the rest of it goes today. All that equipment that you just saw, all of those beams... They're going to be run right through here, straight through here, and then we're going to, to pass the bee box, past our tomato plants, past our, no, that's not what you're thinking it is. This is merely butterfly weed, and it's for the monarch butterflies that we have been, like, helping out lately. And then in here, and then drive them into the ground, which is going to be also Pretty interesting. Follow me, and uh, we're gonna see how this thing goes, because I'm very curious to see how you actually put in a boat lift. All right, here comes the crew now. Some good action right there. I'm gonna cut this one level. Yep. Just so the cradle's not in the way. Okay. But I'm gonna leave this one here. Was it, wasn't it two guys in a... Two guys in the truck. Yeah, that was it. Yep. That was it. And they... So right now we're cutting off all of the existing... Uh, I mean, we had you know dock uh, uh, bumpers out there, wood bumpers. We had a ladder to get in and out of the water. But all that's got to go. That thing looks heavy as hell, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's garbage. Yep, absolutely. Putting in right now. Uh, the floor plates with wedge anchors. All right. So, a lot more involved in this than, than meets the eye. So when you see these lifts just sitting there, this is this is what it takes to actually put one in, which is amazing. I mean, we're talking about solid cement, solid rock, solid coral. You can tell these guys know exactly what they're doing.
to, uh, to start hammering this huge friggin' beam into the ground. There it comes. So I had an old first sergeant uh, when I first went in the military. I was a private, I think. <clears throat> and I'll never forget the conversation I had with him because I was working in a motorpool at the time. And he told me I should always wear hearing protection rather than like, nah, I'm not gonna wear hearing protection. That's ridiculous. Until he told me that for about 15 years now, he cannot hear birds because he never wore hearing protection as a young soldier. <laughs> Never forget that conversation. I couldn't hear birds. So I gotta admit, this is pretty exciting for us because we have finally come full circle. I mean, the boat is over at Boat Depot right now, getting detailed, we're getting the bottom clean. This uh, lift should be in probably by the end of the week. Um, loving the Monroe permit, guys, because they freaking Johnny on the spot, man. They got us squared away, and hopefully they'll come back out when this is all in. And I'd love to see that boat back in the water, on the lift, sometime early next week. So it's Wednesday today. And I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday of next week, we can get this thing approved, passed, boat sitting right there. That would be my, my dream right now. So follow us. This is a, quite a process. Something I never knew about before, really. Uh, and I've never seen one actually put in. So pretty cool. All right, so that first beam is in place, and I was just telling Tyler that they're gonna have to take it out because there's some scratches on it, and I don't want any scratches on it. <laughs> I thought they were gonna kill me. <laughs> just kidding, Tyler, just kidding. He looks like Thor up there with the big hammer. Yeah, ooh! Looks like the dream team has uh, gone out to lunch. So this is what they've uh, done so far, which is absolutely freaking amazing. There's the beams, man. Those beams go straight down. So we got both the beams are in so far. And I suppose that's going to be the lift part, obviously. So uh, I guess they'll finish that up when they get back. This is absolutely pretty freaking cool. I mean, if you think about it, we're going to be coming down here and then be able to just step right onto the boat right from here. I, I'm, I'm just amazed at how it all gets done. Um, like I said, we see lifts all the time. I'm sure you have too, but it never gave it much thought as to, you know, how it actually happens. And you know, all the mechanics and engineering behind it is actually um, quite, quite amazing, I must say. left to do and it, unfortunately it's going to take about a week to get here is to do the actual bunks where the boat will actually sit so um, just a small minor uh, setback but we're going to be able to get them in by next week and then we'll probably get them in and set the boat on the same day but I mean there it is it's, it's a it's a beast I think that they could lift up a house anyway and it's also it's hot as hell out here 
So, all right, there it is. So far, so good, and uh, really happy with uh, all keys boat lifts. You guys did an amazing job today, and uh, I'm I'm loving the whole thing. I mean, this is uh, quite a process, and um, yeah, never really uh, knew how this works, and here we are. So, thanks a lot for following us. We're gonna do follow up next week. Okay, YouTube family, day two of the installation process. We had a little snafu yesterday with getting the right parts uh, for the boat lift. But today I've got uh, Angelo and Nathan from Custom Electric, uh, and they're installing the well, all the electronics that need to go into the uh, 220, by the way, of the boat lift. So there she is, and there's some of the equipment downstairs. And they're gonna run a un pipe underground all the way out to the boat lift itself. So as you can see, we had to dig a trench all the way through here and then all the way out to the back to get all of the electronics out to the dock. And then last but not least will be the guide poles that are going to be sitting there. We're just going to sit, let's leave those guide posts until those guys show up. Yeah, because those are the bunks on and then the guide posts. All right, cool. All right, we're, we're about set. And then there it is. There was, there, there was the big hole. All right, everybody, so the electronics are in. There's the two guys who did it. We got Nate and Angelo. And so I got questions for you guys. Every time that you do one of these, it's different, right? This trench was a short trench. Some of them, some of them are much worse, like a hundred foot. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, so, oh. so this wasn't too bad. We just had to dig a giant hole. And then you also had to like run all the electronics along the, yeah, along the wall, down right? Yeah, the wall mm -hmm. and then turned up onto the beam. What's that little box on the right hand uh, side? The, the limit switch. That's it, the limit switch. It controls the height of your lift so it will stop automatically at the right height. I preset you for the lowest side already and it gives you two foot besides that. So I've got what, 24 inches? I got, right now you have like four foot because we're at like high tide. And so what's the point of that? Because once the boat starts to float. Yeah, so, so basically the only reason I went as low as I did is so when the tide's at the lowest possible tide, right. you can still pull over top of your bunks. Okay, gotcha. All right, I good. was just ensuring that no matter what, you didn't pull in here and go, oh, now I have to manual override. Which you can do. You can do, okay. yeah, which I need to go over with you. Okay, all right, so there you go. So there they are, everything's in, everything's in place, except for the bunks, which will happen next week. But uh, man, this is pretty freaking amazing. This is how your cord goes. Ah, so it just slides up in there. Yep, so totally. it's protected from the elements. Yep. It's and then when I plug it in, it goes down here. Yep. And we should always you take it out it. when we're not using you it. You leave it unplugged. That's the main the thing. The whole time. And just when you plug it in, just make sure that you twist it. So like, see this one with the hook on it? Yep. Right, that one will go to your bottom always. And then you twist to the right. And the, and oh, and then turn it. it. Okay. All right. And Angelo, in case I missed that up, you're always on call, right? 24 hours a day, yeah. seven days a week, holidays, <laughs> right? <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> New Year's, <laughs> right? If I need you, man, you're going to show up, right? Right away. All right, cool. He said, as long as we're going fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the caveat. Going fishing. All right. All right. I think the rails are showing up today, so we're going to go downstairs and go find out what's going on. So it looks like the rails have finally arrived. I noticed that they've got the... Um, the composite on top instead of carpeting and that should last virtually forever so so glad to see that and I think they're going to install them this morning so can't wait to get that part done and then uh, hopefully the inspector will come this afternoon and we should be good to go to get that boat on that lift tomorrow so hopefully this thing's going to get done today or tomorrow just before the weekend and we're going to have that boat finally on the lift so follow us it's getting more and more interesting as we go along you're a beast, man. Jeez. Bringing that thing in by himself?
just set the beam at 9 foot 8. The boat's 28 foot 4 inches. The beam is 9 foot 8 inches. So they're going to set this uh, bunks appropriately, I guess, so that the boat will cradle in there just right. Yeah, and that platform will be very important to get like little, little people on. is all done, the boat's sitting on there, and there's going to be a little bit of a platform to get people from, the, from one side into the boat, otherwise there's a, a two and a half or two foot expanse. She'll be able to get on, but we won't be able to get on comfortably. There it is. She's in. Nice, clean lines. Thing looks awesome. It is a beast of a machine. And the next step is get Julian and Richard down here and get our boat laying on top of that thing after we get inspected today. Um, I really anticipate just like everything going a lot smoother, a lot easier. Boating would be a piece of cake as opposed to either leaving it in the water and bottom painting it, which would have been ugly, or using the, the davits, which really is A, dangerous. I see it. We've seen at least two uh, snap. Two of the davit cables snap on this canal alone. Uh, and one time there was a guy that was on the boat when it snapped. So it, very dangerous. So we're thinking, you know, safety and also protection of the boat. So, and there it is. So, thanks a lot for following us. This has been really a great experience. And now we're looking forward to the rest of the experiences. We're going to be putting out content for you guys. We know what you want to see, but if there's something special that you're looking for, uh, either diving or fishing or whatever, just let us know. Okay, hit us up, uh, DM us, uh, shoot us an email, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for following us. Man, what a beautiful day it is today. The birds are chirping, the wind has died down, everything is perfect in America today. Everything is perfect in the Florida Keys today. You know why? Because today we get our boat back, finally. The lift is in, it's been approved by the county, it's been approved by, I don't even know who else, the environmental agency, whoever has to approve these things. It's finally in, and the boat is coming back this morning. So, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm at a loss of words here. I mean, that's all I can say. Julian and Richard are bringing that boat back about 9 or so this morning. And then this afternoon, the old Keys boat lift guys are coming back, and they're going to show us how it's done and how to work it and how to operate it. So, follow me. Today's the day we finally get it back. I'm really excited. There she comes, coming down that canal. Ah. Here we go. Man, you brought her back home. Like she was never in the water. I'm so happy, man. That's amazing. All right, so I think what we need to do is just kind of, can we just tie it off on this? I'm not going to lift it up. Nope, that way. That's the way. Yep, yep. I think we're just going to tie it off to those guys show up later on, and then they'll do the whole setting of it. Really Elizabeth, happy? Yeah. Even Roman's happy, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Loosen that one. Okay. Just bring it in one more, yeah. Okay. Oh, so we'll be able to get it on and off for for the time being until we can get the yeah. the step in there. This is really kind of a special day because today I've got the, the dream team from all keys uh, boat lifts coming today to finally put in and finish our stair. So uh, if you've been uh, watching the video, you know that uh, we've got the boat up on the lift here, 15,000 pound lift. But look at that big gaping hole right there. And so today we're going to get that thing finally done. Uh, it takes quite a bit to get this whole thing you know, orchestrated and put in. Um, I think we started back in May, and so it's uh, it's been a couple of months where we, get, you know, between getting the permits and getting it scheduled and getting everything done and finalized. And so here we are now. It's been uh, several weeks 
if not almost a month or more to, uh, for us to get scheduled to get the, uh, the stair in. So I'm really excited for these guys to show up today, get the stair in, and finalize this thing. And finally, we are in the water with a new boat, a new boat lift, and are ready to go for new adventures. We're back. We're putting in the stair today so I don't keep falling into the canal. You fell into the canal? Ah, just kidding. <laughs> Got, gotcha. That wouldn't have been me, don't be you. <laughs> All right, so what's left? What do we got to do? We put in brackets? Yeah, we'll put these brackets on and the culture on. There's the platform. Damn, that's a big platform, isn't it? Man. All right, so bracket number two going in. There's bracket number one. So you bolt the back too. Get it square in the back. Yeah, you get you get the, the, the spacing even on the back. Right. Everything's square with the dock. Right. Because just because the dock is square doesn't mean the this square that is square is square with the dock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we just kind of bend it, make everything. Up. But this one's almost square here. That is. That's close. But I'm gonna bend it out just a little bit. So it sort of needs look, to be bent up quite a bit. So it'll look even. Okay, got it. It's amazing. Ball from the 1700s. <laughs> Look at this friggin' thing, man. Holy crap. Somebody must have recovered that on a dive. Yeah. Or it's been in the water before. Plenty of times. <laughs> I love that, man. What? I had this crowbar. That crowbar was in our first work truck. <laughs> it looks it. Looks like it was in somebody, well, somebody else's before that. Tyler's grandpa handed this crowbar down to him. It might have been because my dad got a lot of the tools for the first from uh, the lawnmower shop we used to work at. Yeah, that, well, that thing's seen a few... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still working. It's a few days, yeah. Yeah, it's not all rotted through. That's that, amazing. That's one of those tools we've had in every workshop <laughs> since my parents opened. It just comes out nice. That looks great, man. You guys did a great job. The only factor is, is if the dock's really not straight. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, look at this, man. Let's see. Make sure it's going to go out. Yeah, let's, let's make sure it's not going to hit. Oh, no, we got enough. No, so where are we gonna go? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, see, it's going out. But you got you got way more room than a lot of. Because there's just enough there's just enough angle that it kind of. Yeah, but even if it went straight down, I mean, you got a whole foot in there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys. Take care. If I need you, I'll call you. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Right, Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. Done. How's that? complete really happy that it's in um, so here's the overall deal if you're gonna put in a boat lift you got to be prepared it's gonna take some time there's no doubt about it I would say that most companies are probably the same price point wise there's some if you shop around that's great but more important sometimes than saving a few bucks is the service that you get and the service after the sale. I always say that with everything. Service after the sale for me is everything. So I've, you know, if we have an issue or there's something going on, these guys are Johnny on the spot. So all Keys Boat Lifts, uh, Tyler and his group of guys that are awesome, awesome. I uh, really appreciate Paige, who handled all the paperwork, got all the permits done, uh, did it in record time. Uh, I've got neighbors that said to me that they, they took them, one guy told me it took them nine months to get a permit. Uh, not true here. I mean, we were done, I think, in less than less than a month and a half, we had the permits. If you want to put in a boat lift, I would highly recommend them. I would highly say you go check them out. Shop around by all means, but at the end of the day, when it's, you know, push comes to shove and you want to get it finalized and finished and done, this team was absolutely awesome, and I'm really happy with the lift itself. Uh, they're going to come back and do the service, probably in uh, six months to a year, I think it is, depending on the growth. But um, there it is. So 
putting in a boat lift. Never thought, A, I would ever do that. B, never thought that I would actually, um, yeah, actually have a boat to do that with. So we've come a long way in a short period of time. I really appreciate your patience. I really appreciate you guys following us. Uh, I mean, it's just been a wonderful journey and uh, we're gonna continue on obviously with, uh, with a Florida fishing couple journey part two. <laughs> so follow us. Thank you.